Hey, John with Alfred Homesteading. Today is uh, February the 3rd, 2018. And uh, you can see we've uh, gotten our materials and stuff taken off, uh, covered up, well, actually put over here, covered up behind us over there. And um, basically today, I didn't bring the camera out because I, I just needed to get a whole bunch of work that was done pretty much back over, over here by my table saw. Um, building shims for over here. So let me just take a, take you a walk over there and show you what I've done so far. Then I'll put the camcorder on time lapse again and just let you watch uh, for a little while longer. I got a few more hours of well, probably another hour of sunlight or so to go. So these two shims that I made right here and right here, I had to redo because uh, they this beam here wasn't level. And this one wasn't exactly, it was a little bit higher than it should have been, so I had to shave those down slightly, get that redone. Then, came over here. Uh, this beam had settled just a little bit. It actually settled a quarter inch just sitting here. Um, so this was two and a half inches in terms of space right here yesterday, right there. And now, now it's about two and a quarter. But that is exactly where it needs to be because of the string line right on the side here. That was about two and a half. So these two boards uh, that I cut and put in, making a shim across there, they go directly and slide right up to the base of this this line level. So got that done. This piece here, got that all trimmed in real good here. This piece over here, because this beam is the new centerpiece that's actually five and some inches. Go back over here. <sighs> okay, so the end beams, this one is like four and a quarter. The middle beam is right at five and a half. And the end beam is right at five. So Basically what I had to do is uh, you take this string line right here, and you put it over, uh, over the top, and you get a level all the way down to the other side. So what I had to do over here is get that there, and then you come down here to the center, And you can see we have pretty much level on the string line. And it's also right at the base of, of this piece here. Okay. Um, and then what I had to do is put the string line on the outside there to reach the outside of this um, and the outside of here to make sure that this beam was exactly the same distance this direction. So um, I just went and grabbed this other beam, which that one's five inches, sorry, that's four and a half, I think. Um, so I'll have to make a, sorry, I'll have to make a custom shim for this one. Um, this one is, like I said, five and a half this way, five and a half that way. Uh, this one here is four and just under three quarter. So I'm gonna have to uh, do a, a shim uh, basically to go from here to here. And then we'll lag both these little guys in and we'll be good. But this level here obviously needs to be at that level there. And then I'll have to make a shim for underneath there. And I'll have to make a shim for underneath here. So I'm going to go grab the other 8-foot beam and put it in right there. That had to come up just a tiny bit and you can see that this one is pretty much level, slightly off on that side. But uh, So I'll maybe have to make a, a shim for this or maybe put a little bit more dirt underneath this and we can get it a little bit more level. So. That's 
kind of the actions for today a little bit. Um, Kelly wasn't feeling very good, but she was able to dig uh, a little bit of a trench because right at this point here is going to be where our tub is. So our water and gas are going to be coming out right here. And uh, we're going to trench it all the way to this point right here about where the camera tripod is because that's where our water line comes into the trailer. So all that's going to be buried, keep it underground and then we'll probably bring, uh, we'll probably put some of the conduit down here, bring electric in here to the center of the house and just go off uh, from here. Okay.